$50 million. There is no doubt in my mind that ProLine will be the largest African-American owned company in the, in the world. And I say that because I've always believed that uh, no matter where you are in life, you have to continue the dream. You have to continue to set very, very high standards. Comer Cottrell, making a difference. We salute you. That's pretty good. Ladies and gentlemen, would you do me a favor? Put your hands together and please welcome to the stage publisher, chairman, and CEO of Black Enterprise Magazine, Mr. Earl Graves. Good evening, friends. I address all of you as friends because your presence here tonight signifies your mutual respect and admiration for tonight's honoree, Coma Cottrell, an extraordinary citizen of the world. I've been given two tasks as tonight's honorary chairman. The first is to lead off by recognizing the achievements of our honorary Coma Cottrell. The second is to do it in three minutes and to remind all who will follow me that you do not have to be eternal to be immortal. If I had the right words to describe Comer, I know I would begin with smart, inspirational, magnanimous, perceptive, illustrious, committed, persevering, strategic, and a true example of leadership. In other words, an entrepreneur. He is also a husband, a father, and grandfather, a philanthropist, and a true friend. Uh, Comer and I go back, way back, more years than we care to count. Over the years, we've watched each other build companies from dreams, dreams that have been realized in more ways than could have been imagined or hoped for, dreams that have inspired others to do the same, to dream and know that they can and do come true every day. And so I'd like to begin this evening by thanking Coma for being one of the inspirations that helped me to focus on my dream and steadfast in my search for entrepreneurial success. He didn't give up and neither did I, and together we inspired each other. It would take hours to reel off all of his achievements and equally as long to hit just the high